Hey friends, this is Liquidy. Welcome to another episode of Travel Delivery Podcast. Today, I have a really awesome episode and I found out that a lot of people are looking for information on Disney Springs and what restaurants can you eat at at Disney Springs if you're gluten-free? What restaurants are safe? Which ones have waffles? Can you stay at a Disney resort and eat gluten-free? And what is Disney Springs? What can you do there? And why would you want to go to Disney Springs and eat at the restaurants if you're gluten-free? So stay tuned for more of that information on this episode. Welcome to the Travel Gluten-Free Podcast, where you can listen in on how to lead a gluten-free lifestyle with more fun and ease. Travel Gluten-Free is like having a best friend by your side to give you the most up-to-date gluten-free traveler information. Let Travel Gluten-Free be your number one source for tips, tricks, and advice you can use to safely navigate your next gluten-free travel adventure. Enjoy food, enjoy travel, and enjoy life. And now, here's your show host, Illiquity. All right, we're back with season nine, episode 16, Eating Gluten-Free in Disney Springs. So let's start with the basics, my friends. So Disney, Disney is really known for its amazing way they handle food allergies. Like no matter what food allergy you have, Disney can handle it. Like I have never heard anybody say, oh, I went to Disney and I got sick, either at their hotel restaurants or at Disney Springs or anything. And of course, the restaurants at Disney Springs are all independently owned, so they're not owned by Disney. They lease out that space. Disney is really good about food allergies. And probably that is probably one of the reasons why a lot of the places in that you can eat in Disney Springs are also allergen friendly as well. If you're staying at a Disney resort, that's not Disney Springs. Disney Springs is the shopping area. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I've gotten gluten-free waffles, gluten-free pancakes, like almost gluten-free everything. They have an allergy kitchen. They specifically cook your food in. You ask to talk to the chef. He comes out. You can tell them what you can and can't eat. I am just going to now hand them my Equal Eats cards. If you don't know what Equal Eats is, definitely go back to episode six and listen to Kyle. I talk about Equal Eats or you can go on my Instagram where I made a video on Equal Eats cards and why you want to bring them with you when you travel. Let's just jump in and talk about what is Disney Springs. So Disney Springs has a lot of really great things. So Disney Springs, there's lots of things to do. You can find them at DisneySprings.com. Disney and then Springs with an S on the end, dot com. Um, it says, Before you arrive, when parking at Disney Springs, please arrive at least 6D, like an hour, um, before any scheduled event, show, or reservation. Digital message boards along Buena Vista Drive will indicate when garages and surface lots are full. Due to limited capacity, we may need to occasionally pause parking and pedestrian entry. So keep that in mind. Disney Springs is super busy, especially in the summer. Oh my gosh. So when you go to Disney Springs, you can. there's tons of shops, there's dining, there's lots of experiences, events, offers, and you can visit there. You can go on their page and see all of their things. Some of their things, like right now, their Aerofile, the word leader in balloon flight is a ticketed experience, so that's paid. But then they also have lots of really great live music in their marketplaces. One of the things that's really great is they have this guy who has like this traveling piece piano that has all this light up and he plays piano and sings and he's really, really fun. And it just, it literally is a piano on wheels that he just drives around Disney Springs and sings. There's an art walk there. There's the Coca-Cola bear that you can take a picture with. There's Disney Springs Kids Club for all ages. There's a Cirque du Soleil Disney presentation, which is live music. There's also Cirque du Soleil shows, which I've gone there before. Their Cirque du Soleil shows are amazing. There's a House of Blues. There is a split side luxury lanes, which is a luxury bowling facility. Of course, everything is luxury at Disney. Stargazers Live Entertainment. There's so many things to do. Uh, There's a water park and then there's Ampicar tours at Disney Springs. So you can't run out of things to do at Disney Springs, even if you just go for Disney Springs. But usually if you're going to be at Disney Springs, you're most likely going to be in the park during the day. And then a lot of people go to Disney Springs at night. You can go to this. It's open. Oh my gosh, like 14 hours a day. Check their website for their hours. And it depends on the season too. So I believe they're open later in the summer and they're not open as late in, I think the fall and winter, but check their website for their hours. And remember to get there at least an hour ahead of time because they are super busy. I can tell you that from my experience. But it's a really fun place to go. It's really great. You do as much or as little as you want. If you just want to go, there's no entrance fee. So if you just want to go and hang out and listen to the music, buy anything, you can do that too, which is really awesome. But most people will go probably eat out at a restaurant, maybe take in a show. And yeah, if you have a chance to see Cirque du Soleil at Disney, I definitely would highly recommend it. I went with my best friend several years ago. It was so much fun. It was amazing. Fantastic. All Cirques are amazing, but we 
went to Disney Springs and we really enjoyed it. Let's go over some of the places you can find at Disney Springs. One of the places, my favorite, I've been to multiple times, is Erin McKenna's Bakery. She is totally gluten-free. So you can go to that bakery at Disney Springs and get anything that you want. I would say if you go at the end of the night, your selection is very limited because she sells out of a lot of things. But um, there's also Erin uh, McKenna's in New York City and a couple other places. So this is not her only location. So definitely look up Erin McKenna's on her website if you're traveling to see what other locations that she has to see if you can get in there because she has amazing like cakes, cupcakes. I think she has donuts too, but she has some really, really, really good choices in there that you cannot find other places. Um, some of them are pretty common like chocolate chip cookies, but she has really good. I've never goods. I've never tried any of her baked goods and have been disappointed. Let me tell you that right now. She has amazing baked goods. So definitely stop in there for a baked good and maybe some to bring back with you. Another place you can definitely check out is called The Boathouse. They serve lunch and dinner. And if you're looking for seafood, that is a really great place to go. And they also have gluten-free bread and buns at the boathouse. And I'll put the links to these in the show notes below for you. Oh, the other thing I want to note before I go on is many restaurants are open late uh, and also they're on the pricey side. So don't expect to go in there paying $15 for a meal. You're usually going to pay 20, between 20 and 40 for a meal. So if that's within your budget, that's great. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. So I know everybody has a budget when they go and travel. So some of these are pricier. So maybe that is your one splurge dinner out is when you go to one of these places that I mentioned at Disney Springs. The other is that a lot of these places, the chef will come out and talk to you if you tell them you have an allergy. So that's really convenient. Um, I would just give them my Equal Eats cards and say like, hey, I have an allergy. This card explains it. They can read it and then let me know what I can and can't eat. Restaurant you'll definitely want to try out, Helio, J-A-L-E-O by Jose Andre. They offer lunch and dinner. And one of the uh, really great things on their menu is the burnt Basque cheesecake. I don't know who came up with this thing, but apparently it's super fantastic because people rave about it. I have not tried that dessert there. Um, they do have a tasting menu and it can be modified for gluten-free. So ask them about that if you are interested in the tasting menu. They can also modify dishes that are not labeled gluten-free, usually by just taking off the breadsticks or other items. So always ask them, even if it's not labeled gluten-free, ask them why. Um, and a lot of times they can just take off the bread or the pita or whatever it is, um, or the cookie, and it will be gluten-free. I do that a lot of times with desserts. Uh, like one time I saw this dessert on a menu. It was, it wasn't tiramisu. It was a chocolate mousse. It was hazelnut chocolate mousse and, or Bailey's Irish cream chocolate mousse. And it said it, it was not labeled gluten-free and a lot of other things on the menu were. So I asked the, I asked the waiter and the waiter went back and asked the chef and he said, yeah, the only thing that has gluten is the cookie we stick on the top. So if they don't put the cookie on the top, then it's gluten-free. So always ask if it's something that looks like it could be gluten-free, like hummus, right? They say, oh, it has gluten. It's probably because of the pita. 99% of the time, it's the pita. It's not the hummus itself. So I have not seen hummus with gluten in it. That doesn't mean there's not one out there in the world. But typically when they don't label hummus gluten-free, it's because they it's because of the pita. And so uh, some of the things like appetizers and desserts, you can take just easily take the bread or the cookie off of it and it can be gluten-free. But always check with your server and have the server check with the chef. Don't take the answer like, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure is not okay to accept. I always say, can you please check with the chef because I will get really sick if I do eat gluten. So that's one of the phrases that I use a lot, which helps me in you know being proactive for myself and identifying to the staff member that is not a preference. I tell them that is not a preference um, for me. Okay, another place you definitely want to check out, especially if you're in need for burgers, is Deluxe Burger. So capital D-L-U-X-E. Um, the chef will come out and talk to you about their menu here. Your food will come in a closed box and they do have a dedicated fryer, which means you can eat the French fries. They prepare um, your food in a separate space and they do have gluten-free buns and a gluten-free menu. So with a gluten-free menu is literally just a menu with all their gluten-free offerings on it, which is super helpful because you don't have to say, hey, is this gluten-free? It's like everything on that menu you can eat. So if you're in the mood for a burger, definitely check out Deluxe Burger at Disney Springs. There's Raglan Road Irish Pub and they do lunch and dinner. And here's the deal, guys. Most Irish pubs we cannot eat at because wheat is like prolific in there. But this one looks like, it, I've not eaten there personally, but I looked it up online and this one looks really safe. Um, they have a dedicated fryer and they have amazing, apparently amazing gluten-free onion rings. Now, one of the things you can know, you'll know is that the restaurants with a dedicated gluten-free fryer 
almost always have really good gluten-free protocols and their staff is usually well-educated. Now, all the times, but usually. And some people don't know what a dedicated fire means, some staff members, and some don't. Depends on how they train their employees, but that's a really good one to know that that place is serious about gluten-free if they have a dedicated fire. They also have a gluten-free kitchen space, which we know that's really super serious and, and good. Um, anyway, the Shepherd's Pie is apparently really amazing and they are a family-friendly Irish restaurant. So if you love Irish food, but you don't get the chance to eat it, I would definitely hit up Raglan Road Irish Pub. That's one of the things my husband and I, we both love Irish food, but it's really hard to find Irish pubs that can serve people who are gluten-free. I found one in Victoria, Canada, and there's this one in Orlando, Florida. And that's the only two I found that are Irish that can serve me safely. All right. If you know of one, connect with me on my website, www.travelgluteninfreepodcast.com and let me know which one it is that you've eaten at that is safe, that is an Irish pub. All right. Cooks of Dublin, another one, Irish, a dedicated fryer and fish and chips. So there's three places now that I know that you can eat if uh, they're Irish. Terralina Crafted Italian. They offer all of their gluten-free uh, pasta dishes with gluten-free pasta. Frontera Cocina. They have a lot of gluten-free options mostly gluten-free menu too. And oh my gosh, they have a dedicated fryer. So you can actually get legit fried plantains because most of the time when I get plantains, I can't get them fried because they're in a shared fryer. And bet, so they just cook them up in the pan and they still taste good, but they're not as good as fried plantains. So definitely if you like plantains, if you don't know what plantains are, they're kind of like bananas, but they're really sweet. And they, that is a Spanish ethnicity food. It's really, really good. It's one of my favorite Spanish foods to eat. I always get plantains when I can because they're so good and they have a dedicated fryer. So if you like bananas, I would definitely try the plantains at this place because they have a dedicated fryer. It's one of the few places I know of that you can get legit fried plantains. All right, my friends, we're going to take a break right here. When we come back, we're going to talk. Tell, I'm going to tell you about more amazing places you can eat that are gluten-free at Disney Springs. Hey, gluten-free friends, it's Liquidy. We know that traveling gluten-free can be hard, but you know what? It doesn't have to be impossible. You can still travel and be independent have fun and be in control of your life. Travel the way you want to, even with celiac disease. I know because I travel extensively several months out of the year with celiac disease. If you want to get started on learning more about how to travel gluten-free, grab my free ebook, 10 Tips for Traveling Gluten-Free. In my ebook, you're going to find the basics of traveling gluten-free, from the questions you need to ask when dining out to air travel and cruise travel advice you're going to find my top tips that I've learned for my expertise. Get your free ebook today by visiting my newly revamped website, www.travelglutenfreepodcast.com. Go to the bottom of the welcome page where you're going to see the beautiful Caribbean boat picture. Click there and sign up today. Receive your free ebook, which is going to be dropped directly into your inbox. Remember, go to www.travelglutenfreepodcast.com Go to the bottom of the welcome page and get your free ebook and find out my top tips for traveling safely when you're gluten-free. All right, we're back uh, with more places you can eat at Disney Springs. Another one you can eat is an Asian place that I've eaten here. It's called Morimoto Asia, and the gluten-free items are marked. The wait staff is attentive and the sushi and most sauces are gluten-free. So I have eaten sushi there and I did eat it safely. So that's a good thing to know. Sprinkles Cupcakes, this is a new place. I don't believe this was here the last time I went to Disney Springs. They have gluten-free, vegan, and dairy-free options. Apparently their red velvet is fantastical. So you may want to, if you like, if you're a fan of red velvet, definitely try it out. I know the one at Erin McKenna's, they have a red velvet and they're fantastic. I don't believe Sprinkles Cupcakes, I don't think it's dedicated gluten-free. I believe they do have some regular gluten in it. So if you are really weary or when you're on vacation like I do, I'm always extra careful. You may want to just hit up Erin McKenna's because it's dedicated gluten-free. But Sprinkles Cupcakes, um, there's several people we've eaten there who is celiac and it's safe. Rainforest Cafe, their dining area is such a blast because it's literally like you're sitting in the middle of a rainforest. There's like animals, there's elephants trumpeting, there's lions, there's, oh my gosh, it's so cool. They have this really cool, huge aquarium that goes across the, like, you know, your entranceway. It is so, it's like one of the coolest dining experiences ever. That Rainforest Cafe, there's one in Animal Kingdom as well. So you definitely want to check out a Rainforest Cafe. They definitely have some dishes that are a little bit less expensive and they have gluten-free pasta and buns and their buns are really good. I've had their gluten-free buns. They have a dedicated fryer. So I've had their French fries 
perfectly safe. And the chef did come out and talk to me. One of the things they do have, if you're vegetarian and gluten-free, is they have Impossible Burgers. So Impossible are one of the vegetarian burger choices that we can eat as celiacs because it's made with pea protein and they don't have wheat or any gluten in them. So I, I have had their um, Impossible Burger plate and it's really, really good. So if, you, if you're if you just looking for something light to eat, that's really good because it's your veggie burger and well, you can get fries with it and fries aren't light. But I mean, come on. Anytime I can get dedicated French fries, I'm like, I'm all over that. All right. Another place, if you love chicken like I do, I'm going through a super chicken phase right now is the chicken guy. Most items and sauces are gluten-free. They have gluten-free buns and they also have a dedicated fryer and apparently their seasoned fries are off the chart. So you definitely want to try those out. I love seasoned fries. It's so rare I can get them. And so when I go back to Disney Springs, guess where I'm going, my friends? I'm going to the chicken guy because I'm getting a chicken sandwich on a gluten-free bun with those seasoned fries everybody talks about. The sauces are gluten-free and the sauces are marked. And I really wish more places would do that because a lot of times you go to a place and you have to ask them like which sauces are gluten-free and which sauces aren't. And then you go back again. I can't always remember which sauce. So I have to ask them again. So like so nice to have things marked and like that way you don't have to keep asking, right? And so you can just pick out what you want to eat. All right. City Works is another place that you definitely want to check out. They have smoked wings and they are a barbecue place. Although they did get some mixed ratings, I have not eaten at City Works. So definitely check them out online. Give them a call ahead of time. Make sure you feel safe there. If you don't, please walk out of any place you don't feel safe. If there's any place on this a list that you've been that you haven't felt safe, please contact me through my website, travelglutenfreepodcast.com. I would love to hear about your experience. Last place we're going to mention today is the Polite Pig, which is also another barbecue place. They have an allergy menu, which is fantastic because like me, I have multiple food allergies. So an allergy menu is great because what they typically do on an allergy menu is they'll list their product and then they'll gluten, soy, dairy, and all of the eight allergens or something more than that listed like seafood or shellfish and then they'll put an x in the box which allergens it contains so you just have to look for one that does not have the allergens that you cannot eat and that's really good this is another one where the chef will come out to you and talk to you about your allergies and what you can and cannot eat which is super helpful they have gluten-free buns and they have a few choices on there for gluten-free so if you're looking for a barbecue that may or may not be a good place to go but check out their menu online the polite pig in disney springs you can easily find their website and i'll also put the links to these places in the show notes below so you can just click on them and instantly go to the website so you won't have to look around. All right, my friends, I hope this has been super helpful. If you're going to Disney Springs, definitely check out these restaurants. Uh, look at the show notes and find out which ones are nearby where you're at. These are positions all throughout Disney Springs and on their website, you can find a map with their restaurants on it where so you can see the locations of these uh, restaurants as well. All right, I hope you're having a great gluten-free day, my friend. And remember to enjoy food, enjoy travel, and enjoy life. This is Aliquity signing off for this episode, and I will see you next week. Travel Gluten-Free Podcast is a production of Travel Gluten-Free, LLC. Looking for a great way to connect with over 2,000 consumers per month? Contact Aliquity for information on sponsorship levels to boost your business. Subscribe today so you won't miss a single episode of Travel Gluten-Free. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.